maybe yeah. perhaps finally. I don't know. Ganking this Marana seems kind of impossible. Yeah. Two charges on Leap remaining. And they should have an idea that that is the case here. It's top line, we're going to see a Blade Fury from Miracle. Looks like one more right click will take him out if they can get some vision. Dubu, you see the health self coming into play, but they're going to continue to right click, cancel that completely. And it seems like only a matter of time before Miracle finally drops to the deck. Really enough, he just stands there. He's like, what are you going to do? So we're going to see a Disruptor being taken out. Miracle with the Blade Fury. Kuroki's taking a lot of damage in the meantime. We'll be able to skirt away just fine. Miracle's going to use the Blade Fury. They might avoid come a some damage, back after this, though. Yeah, perhaps. Bottom lane, though, for Rev. He's the one actually Whoa. attempting to run yeah. away, but he's going to get Telekinesis. Impale might be saving his life into a double edge. He's going to get one kill. Looks like they'll find a second as well. Beautiful plays from Immortal, and Forever somehow oh, lives through that engagement. And no chance for the split to happen. Now top lane, Miracle is being dove. He doesn't have Blade Fury for another five seconds. He's forced to just right-click, uses his wand, keeping himself alive. Should be okay for now. Blade Fury is up, has his TP. Doesn't choose to use it. We got some GH action, and Kuroki are here, but they're not going to be able to find anyone. Nice TP out there. Not that terrifying of a proposition. Oh, a little Phantom Rush into the Healing War, but now he's deep. Oh, yeah, he's trying to beat. And Nightmare on the wrong target, but now they figure it out. Blade Fury onto QO, being Thunderstruck by the Disruptor. And QO is just super fast with those boots of travel. Gets off the Phantom Knives. Oh, nice arrow into a couple of heroes. Beautiful Star Storm as well. It's going to be a two for one trade as Miracle's Blade Fearing away. Do they have the right click to actually take him out? Indeed, they do. Three for one. You know, Centaur being broken up there temporarily. Arrow's not going to connect. They're going to turn this around onto Mirana, but she has the infinite amount of leaps, remember. Right clicks are there. Viper actually ticking quite low. The Mirana does fall on the backside. Centaur in the meantime, no stampede. Remember, he had to use it to run away. So that's two deaths in the blink of an eye in favor of Liquid. Looks like Dubu is next. He'll put down a Static Storm. Rubik might be in trouble here. Looks like they'll find a trade in a two for one. But QO now gets Primal split up, along with the Thunderstrike, or Thunderclap, I should say. Groki ends up getting Glimpse. And they should be able to find Dubu here with ease. So it's a oh, three for one cycle. for Liquid. It's coming into fruition as well. Oh, Tumba Man gets Glimpse into a Static Storm, into the Hoof Stomp. That's a lot of damage coming out. Arrow will connect. Fiend's Grip onto Centaur. Looks like they'll be able to get Matumba Man with ease. Kuroki looks to be next on the list. Nightmares himself is going to save him for a little bit. Here comes the Primal Split, though. And Centaur looks to be the first to fall Stampede. A little bit too late to save his own life, but it's a two-for-one in favor of Immortals as QO and company are trying to clean up these pandas. But looks like... Looks like Mind Control will get out just fine. At least for now, oh, GH, though, maybe not so lucky. He gets taken out with ease, and a glimpse is there as well. Brewmaster, you are super dead now. It's a four for one ultra kill for QO. Miracle, the Lone Survivor for Liquid. That's can they good. chase? I, I, think, I think an obstruct is pretty cool. You can, like, go up inside the base and stuff, you like, can up be, high ground. Yeah, I mean, that. I agree. It's just 100 agility, though. You know, Gotta get that e -blade. We have Veil of Discord onto two heroes, Mind Control. Looking for possible initiation here. Doesn't have Primal Split for another 25 seconds, though. Looks like QO, or GH, is in a lot of trouble. He's getting very low, but they're going to blow up the Nyx Assassin with ease. MP with one of the leaps, two leaps now. Does he have another? Nope. Ice Frog didn't buff you that much, my friend. Looks like they'll find that kill as well. It's a two for one as QO attempts to get away, but the right click of Matumba Man is more than enough to finish him off. So Shrines are able to take it. There's the Primal Split, and yeah, just Radiant's zone and use that Demolish. Lead zoning. And here comes the initiation from Ferev, doing a little bit of damage to Bane, but not a whole lot to speak of. Is there's a Static Storm connect to a combination. Looks like they'll find Kuroki, no problem, but the melee Rax is dead. Damage has been done by Liquid. They'll be happy with this exchange, no matter how it ends here. Yeah, actually, get away control, actually jumps back in. Looks like he's going to be able to just drop dead of his own accord, but he takes a melee Rax with him. So again, he is perfectly fine with that. And in the meantime, Miracle is just, hey guys, top lane here, it's going down. Tier 2 tower for Liquid after. Yeah, he's just stopping him from joining oh, this Rubik, fight mid. though, gets nightmared by Kuroki to save him for now. Looks like, oh, he actually almost got away, but blinked into a Star Storm, it seems. Kuroki looks to be next on the list, so that's two kills in favor of Immortals. As they're going to attempt to chase down Matumba. He limps into a Static Storm, looks to be dead. Will he take Forever with him? Doesn't look like the double edge is enough. Oh, the Corrosive skin, though, actually was enough to take him out. Mind Control jumps in, doesn't have his Primal Split, though. Was this worth, is the no. question. <laughs> Trent Pax from Twitter.com says no, ladies and gentlemen. I believe you are correct. Yeah, there you go. He's Get taunting. The roll going. Now it was worth it. All right, I'll take it back. Now he types work yeah. to his team. He's definitely laughing over there. Yeah. I have to count Nether Talks in, I suppose, as well as a decent um, roast fighting yeah, thing. Oh, sure. wow. Well, it helps when someone's dead. Yeah, GH. They're going to find MP. No problem at all. Telekinesis was more than enough with the right click. And I believe Viper Strike was used as well as Febby. They're going to be spotted out. Nice and here from Forever, though. Primal Split tops. 
That's a buyback from Marana. Look for her to use the Moonlight Shadow here shortly. Kuroki's gonna be the first on the list to die, it looks like. Be taken out relatively easily, although Nyx Assassin, Febby, trying to get out of here, but the Omnisash is there. Two dead in favor of the Viper, two for one. So Immortal still down in numbers. Kyo gets oh, Fiend's nice Grip melee range, and that's gonna be enough as well. So Liquid getting the favorable trades here. Dubu attempting to TP out, will be okay. Arrow connects, but obviously not gonna be any follow-up for Immortals. You can see that for sure. Liquid here on the high ground. Trying to find a pickoff potential. They, they look at QO. Uh oh. It would be interesting if they could actually get a burn. Oh, he gets Fiends gripped into the Thunderclap. The Static Storm is there. Doppelganger is going to save his life for now. He's going to try to regen with that heart. Here comes MP with a lot of damage to the Star Storm. They will find Kuroki, the first death here in this engagement. Matumba Man cycloned up. Miracle is just getting the hell out of here. Matumba Man dealing lots of damage thanks to that Mjolnir, but not going to be enough for him as two are dead. Immortals defending. It doesn't feel like Mind Control's getting a lot done this fight. He got the split off pretty late, and now he's like starting to focus down some targets. Uh, oh, like he might solo kill. Dubu, get out of here. Oh, he actually blinks oh, out oh, just oh, in oh. time and thunderclaps him to death. Forever might be next on the list, but no, the stun is just in time to save that beefy centaur. And the gem, he had a gem. The gem will drop to the deck, indeed. GH, oh, he's spotted out. Oh, not oh. another one. Not How many leaps does feed. he get? He gets three leaps. He's fine. <laughs> I love but that. But they put a bait out with QO. Oh, they're going to Moonlight. Now they're spotted. Also oh. smoked up from Liquid. That's a big fight for this game. Oh, yeah. They dust right away. GH is in a little bit of trouble. Blinks out the safety. There's a Stampede from Forev. Omni Slash is actually completely wasted thanks to the Yules. Pretty much no damage is done this fight right now. As Rubik is going to be the first to fall. Marana, though, Fiend's gripped up. Buyback on the Rubik. We'll be back in a fight shortly as Bane looks to be next on the list potentially. But QO thinks better of it. He gets spotted by the... The Brulings doesn't have Doppelganger for another two seconds. Might be in a little bit of trouble trying to go for the high ground, but no! Gets bursted down, and Liquid have the numbers. Yeah, this is going to be a very easy second racks, and they have to know that PL does not... Oh, actually just got buyback. Literally just got oh, his nice man double stomp. man hoof stomp into a kinetic field. There's the stampede as well. Lots of damage done by MP. Leaps into one. Remember, there's no shrines there anymore. He just drops dead. Oh my god, Completely that nightmare dies. from Kuro, though. It might be enough to save Miracle. My control in a lot of trouble. Will be the first to fall in this top area. Static storm place, but no kinetic field in time. Miracle attempting to run away. They do have their second racks, but this would still be a pretty big kill for Immortals if they're able to find them. Nightmare might save him, though, with the urn charge. Febby trying to chase. We'll see if he can actually catch up with that Vendetta. Does a little bit of damage. Miracle pops the BKB and just right clicks Febby oh to death. A couple more right clicks will do it. Looks like Kuroki will be resigned to helping him out. Now Miracle, still the BKB. That looks like a 10 second BKB charge. Are they going to get this guy? He's blade peering away. He's got Flutter in five seconds. I think he's fine. Kuro. Kuro I can't believe sacrificial that. Lamb. He saved him with two Nightmares. He should have died the first time from Marana from <laughs> yeah. a Star Storm. Somehow gets up to the north, gets glimpsed back into the middle of the base, and somehow he escapes again because of a second Nightmare save. Does have the Mjolnir in place and a nine second BKB charge to go along with the Hurricane. In fact, we can have some, some initiation oh, here from Ferrev. Brewmaster in a lot of trouble. Gets four steps to safety and gets the primal split off. And that means that Immortals is likely trying to run away here. They're going to lose their Disruptor. QO might be next on the list, taking so much right click damage, and he will definitely die. Kuroki again, Sacrificial Lamb. Gets the Fiend's grip off, but gets canceled pretty much immediately. It's a two for one, but it's just a support. As look at the break coming to action. So much damage being taken by the Centaur as a result. Three for one, and GG's are called Liquid taking game one in pretty damn impressive fashion. Pretty fun yeah. to watch these guys. If they can't find the focus down on that Brewmaster, every fight's going to go poorly at this point. And kind of makes you think about Aeon Disc, honestly. We got game number two underway. Some interesting picks. He'll be backed up here by Kuro, though. And he does have the level advantage right now. They're going to get the Telekinesis into a pounce oh, and a really lot of damage. Damage, actually. Forev looks to be dead. First blood goes the way of Liquid. That is way too easy. Metamorphosis showing how much damage he can actually do. And bottom lane, too. And GH looks to be the first to die. Dubu will be the trade, though. One for one. Comes the reinforcements in Kuroki. They get actually a tower hit. He was close enough with that telekinesis. MP attempting to run away. Has 70 HP, and that illusory orb will be enough for Michael. Looks like he's not going to get either one, but maybe they can get a kill here. Febby's here with a level 1 Frost Blast, and there's initiation with the Janata. Kuroki is at half health right now. Gets a nice stun with the Telekinesis. He's going to steal this rune. Likely will die as a result. But space still created. There's literally three heroes chasing after him. Oh, looks like Dubu's going to find GH. There comes the roll. They actually will connect. Onto QO, this, he might be in a lot of trouble. Gets a beautiful Sunder off, though. That's going to be another death for GH. He's going to turn this around onto Rubik with that Metamorphosis. Definitely enough damage. 
Nether Toxin not really going to do a whole lot. But yeah, that's that's true. I didn't really think about that. Top the lane. He's trying to TP out forever, though. Oof. Too much damage on the Miracle. And, oh, those wards, though. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little bit ambitious there with the Dark Pact. Trying I hope to get we get away oh, from the vision mid lane of the telekinesis into a Viper Strike Terror Blade, taking tons of damage. He's gonna be bursted down if he's not careful. Has Thunder, but is he's gonna use it, but very little effect overall. But the pause comes out. Looks like we're good to go. And my control three, two, one, dead. But Tom Man in the meantime doing considerable damage to Terror Blade, yeah, attempting awesome. to run away. Lich is trying to be the sacrificial lamb of sorts. There's no shrine here, so this will be a long run. He's able to make a Kuroki, sacrifices himself as per usual. Terror Blade in the meantime, looks like he'll be caught one way or the other. Not able to reach the neutral camp in time. Dubu, well, he'll find GH at least. Still not even six with that yeah. pickoff though. So you get the telekinesis off as we're going to see a kill. MP we're actually so taken out by Miracle. We're so hyped about this. Someone's dying bottom. <laughs> we don't care what's going on. Cole's applied right now. Dubu in a lot of trouble. Able to get track off. Oh, mind control. Here we go. Yeah, Dubu. Mind control with the illusory orb will be enough Easy. to find the kill. In fact, now, a scan comes out. If their smoke pops, they're going to know that he walks up. Oh, Miracle. Uh -oh. He finds Dubu. There's the silence. That's going to be an easy kill. No track kills for you right, this here time. Here comes Control jumps in. Where's Kuro? Nice chain frost overall. Kuroki might have to looking. use it on a teammate, but that wouldn't be fun. It's a one for one right now as the puck is taken out. Metamorphosis means that this push in all likelihood Dude, he, he's is still continuing. Again. He's getting hit. He's trying his best <laughs> oh, here. MP is getting completely dumpster here. Miracle deals so much damage. Doesn't even have the Echo Saber yet. Poison Nova's popped though. Matumba Man on the is. run. There's a Sunder. Is it going to be enough to actually get a kill? GH is there with his ultimate magnetized. Forev will tick down finally. It's a two for two in the grand scheme of things. More right clicks from Kyo though. Ensure it, a third kill for themselves. Viper gets up initiated on, but who's initiating on whom as MP takes the brunt of the damage and is eventually brought down. This Vengeful Spirit is not having a good time this game. GH tracked up, taking some right clicks, attempting to run away as MP. Oh, GH. He's going to roll, but he's actually going to end up hitting somebody. Reflection is popped though. Not enough to actually get a kill though. It's a two really for nothing careful, right though. now. Now Immortals are on the run. There's no shrine there, so. <laughs> Like, oh, wait, we got to go to the tower now. Coil ends up connecting with Q, and that's a very easy kill for Liquid as they're starting to steamroll this game. Febby hit with the illusory orb. Miracle pops his ult, really wants his kill. Pounce in one second. Can Febby dodge it? He does. He might get the Echo Saber slow. Oh, he's trying. Oh, my God. He actually hits like a like a truck with that double damage. Miracle pretty much doing what he did last game, just split pushing, this time with the Slark instead of the Juggernaut. Doesn't get the pounce off onto Febby. Uses his ult, really wants to go for this, actually. Pounce up in one second, and I have to think that if he's this committed, he will find the kill one way or the other, and indeed he does. Miracle, he's just going to go on to Dubu now, who's coiled up. Jesus H, man. Two deaths in the blink of an eye, and now Liquid turn oh, their sights oh no, onto Terrible. the chain feed. Oh, the chain feed is real. Forev comes in after all of this, gets up his Gale into a Poison Nova, pops his Ghost Scepter, but that just means amplified damage for that waning rift. Someone and Liquid can clip are just that and put that in the dictionary of chain feed. Like, chain. see example, <laughs> Liquid versus Immortals. It's not over yet, friend. MP wants to be next in this chain feed. There it is. Tutorial it video. It is complete. <laughs> I've seen this hey a time guys, or two. This is Suns fan <laughs> with an example of chain feeding. <laughs> oh my, is this tier three tower is taking a beating? And the funny thing is, they only have a 6k lead right now. It's not like that substantial. 22 minutes in. And they're just out here like this is all we can do. Four heroes to push one wave. Nope, they're, they're going to swap GH who blinks out to safety and gets a double stun into a magnetize. That is not the initiation you're looking for if you're immortals. In fact, it's a complete disaster. Venomancer is going to first of all, Venge is next. And just add that to the list as immortals are dropping <laughs> like flies. What we have here is a miscommunication. <laughs> you have a swap. Oh, man. It kind of set everyone up perfectly just for GH. And QO looks to be next on the list. Kuroki able to steal track. Or actually, no, I'm sorry. He did not steal that, but it doesn't matter. Kuro. Double Sunder. Gotta love it. <laughs> that is the Aegis, though. And there's the death. So delays it by five or six seconds. And GG's come out. Liquid looking very, very good in game yeah, two. Yeah, phenomenal. Uh, not going to let them double up on kills. They'll throw in the towel before that. 35 to 19. 16k lead as Liquid take it.